Well, good morning on Tuesday, April 8th. We normally debut a boat when she's either completely finished or almost finished with the preservation project by pulling her outside, but it is rainy and snotty outside, so we'll take advantage of the uh, good lights we have in here and introduce you to this 1955 20-foot Lyman runabout narrow strake uh, that is 99.5% fully uh, preserved. All we have left are a couple layers, a couple coats of varnish on the trim boards at the bottom of the ceilings where the ceilings and the floor panels meet. Uh, we have, we're waiting the new impeller for the water pump. She's now sitting on the Venture trailer that uh, has been designed for this boat. It supports her extremely well with long bunks starting beyond the transom and extending forward of the engine. There's an intermediate V support and then the nose support, the nose roller. She's really come out beautifully. I think you'll agree. And I thought you would first appreciate seeing her sort of in a walk around mode with her transom completed. The exhaust system has been fully installed. And I think you'll agree that her interior is just fantastic. Just came out so well. I haven't opened the door to the uh, V-Birth, but if you do, you will find uh, it's been totally repainted in uh, Interlux right side, top side paint. We've put several coats on there, so it's brilliant white in the V-Birth. The engine, as you can see, is installed. As I said, we are just waiting on the impeller so that we can finish rebuilding the water pump. Uh, she has a new coil. We rebuilt the carburetor. We put Pertronics ignition in, in place of the old spark and points uh, system. The floor panels are looking rather nice and bright in their brand new Nautilux in natural. Everything inside has been revarnished. The windshields, the windshield is just beautiful. I just love the old style windshield. It is so beautifully swept back and continues in this particular lineman with a very distinctive roll as the, the hull approaches the stern. Well, as you can see, the other punch list item is installing the rub and splash, the stainless steel rub rail and splash rail on both the starboard and port sides. Uh, we've now set the engine box in the cockpit. We still have the uh, hinge to affix to the, the lid and the, the engine box. And our upholsterer reports that she's 90% of the way through uh, remaking the seat cushions, seat back cushions, and we're also having her do a cushion for the engine box lid. They will be done in the same uh, Lyman tan. It's a light version of Lyman tan, and 
a red, but not a fire engine red, uh, that we found on the few pillows that were still with the boat when we dragged her back to Snake Mountain Boat Works. Steering wheel and throttle are all in excellent shape. The instrument gauge is as new. Uh, the gear shift was, lever was, well, it had about 14 coats of paint on it, not unlike the top sides. So I uh, cleaned it all off. It's cast bronze and really looks rather beautiful, I think, uh, in its natural state. If somebody wishes to paint it, that somebody is certainly welcome to do so. So pretty soon, if the ice ever leaves Lake Champlain, we'll be taking her out for sea trials. Note that last year at this time, if you look at some of our old videos, we were doing sea trials on the very same Lake Champlain. Just have to wait for it this year. Thank you. We'll be back soon.